Skadoosh, skadoosh, and welcome back to the channel, Ninjas. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. We're going to crack open an hour of Devastation Booster Box because we are on the hunt for the good old Masterpiece Expedition slash Invocation. Invocations are what you could find inside of Hour of Devastation. Very rare, very sought after. I believe it's one in four boxes. So let's just see if we can find one. I'll continue to do these until we end up pulling one from each of the sets. Big shout outs to Denton Hamilton, Stephen Dempsey, Michael Brennan, Dan Rayner, Aaron Goodrum, Jose Escato, Matthew Doyle, Joseph Hatchell, Kyle Smith, Carl Lazar, Michael Van Halen, Andre Murray, Thomas Emanuelson, Jeremy, Jeremy, you got a last name, Jackman Jangs, Phyrexian Oil, Trey Brooksby, Lance Burton, Saligia, Cloud 10 MTG, Luke Ranton, Ted Prater, Jerry Ogren, It's DiGiorno's, Andre Campos, Andre Campos, Marcus Wood, Cody LaBelle, Philip Hamilton, Trenton Vigil, Yuri DeVry, uh, Andrew Pilgrim, Daz Berserker, Joshua Hornback, Carolyn Harper, Frank Airy, Matthew Waters, and Pete George. Thank you very much for your love and support of Bad Boy Gaming. Let's get into this. Blood, Water, Entity, a Riddle Form, and Spider. Captain's Last Herd. I'm sorry, it's just not going to cut it, pal. It's not going to cut it. I would, I would probably flip uh, if we do pull one because it's been forever since I actually pulled one. I don't know about you guys or how many you've pulled or if you have pulled one. That was like a three, four dollar card at one point, believe it or not. Hollow one is pretty legit. I want to see also, I want to test to see if the odds of pulling a foil are increased in these booster boxes. I think the last booster box we had seven or eight foils, which was pretty ridiculous to say the least. Uh, I love that card. Some sweet combos with it. Amit Eternal. No foil yet. No foil yet. Tragic Lesson. Tragic Lesson was a purchasing these. Look at that blood spill. Oh, my God. That's not good. You, uh, you, you have your blood spilling everywhere. You probably had a bad day, I'm going to assume. Got the claim. The Sovereign. We got a Phoenix for our Mythic Rare. All right. Uh, Unish. Cryosphinx. Sovereign? I'm not sure the value on that sucker. Probably not that high, I would assume. I, I'm guessing like under a buck. Nissa's Defeat. The Ifner, the Defeat. The Ramming Up Excavator. Not a bad card, by the way. No foils yet. Holy smokes, baby. Holy smokes. Tonight I'll also be live streaming good old Valentine's Day on Twitch. So make sure you come hang out and check me out on Twitch. Give me some love. I'm going to be a little lonely tonight, so make sure you show up and pop your pretty little face in. Oh, even chance. Link in the description of every video. Come on, baby. We need to get something. Uh, a foil would be cool if we can just pop one. It's like popping pimples over here. I mean, well, not really. I wish it was that easy. Scorch Champion. Angel of Condemnation. No foil. you got to be kidding me, baby. The last box we opened was just phenomenal. Pulled three Planeswalkers. I could not believe it. I, I seriously could not believe it. Supreme Will, that's a really good one. I can't believe it's not about a Liliana's Defeat. Imminent Doom. <laughs> we pulled a foil full art mountain last time. That's crazy. So we have pulled two foil full art mountains out of Hour of Devastation. I think the red mountains in Hour of Devastation are pretty sought after. And that's another thing. The price on the full art foils in this set, I don't believe it's that high. Hour of Glory in the island. I don't think they're over like three bucks for any given one, maybe four backs. I have to check my sources on that one. We got a Manticore Eternal, the Grace, the Sphinx. We do have a foil. Scavenger Grounds foil. Now that is a friggin' pool right there, I think. Yeah, that is a pool right, I think. I think it's the uncommon we're talking about. I think that's good though. Uh, so far, so good. Yeah, Scavenger Grounds is a good one, right? Add a colorless to your mana pool for Deuce, Sacrifice, a Desert, Exile, all cards from all graveyards. Can't be positive on that one. I can't be positive. Sunset Pyramid. I think I'm really wrong right now. Overcome and an Undying Fury with Spell Weaver Eternal. That's some sweet art on that foil right there. We are up to three. Oh, that's right. You got the uh, indestructible horse up in here. <laughs> That's my best uh, impression of a horse. That's that's all I got. 
Uh, we had to refuse and cooperate. Torment of Hailstorm, I believe, is an Hour of Devastation, which is a really, really nasty card. If we can get our hands on one of those suckers, pretty sweet. And that was another card that was like at like a buck or something. Another Supreme Will, that's really good. Uh, another a Champion of Witch, that was up there in price. But the Tormenting Hailfire, at one point, it was only, I think, like a dollar fifty, And then it really just took off in Commander. Anytime a card takes off in a, a format, man, it, it does show in the value of the card. A Braid, that was a good one too. Dream Stealer and Hope Tender is our foil. I don't remember anyone ever playing that card uh, in standard. Just saying. I don't think anyone plays that. I don't blame you if you didn't play that card. We got the Archer Moaning. What are you doing over there? What's the moan about? Moaning Wall. Can you imagine what that sounds like? That's just, no, that's, that's not good. Uh, you probably want a little more upbeat female voice uh, if the wall is moaning. Uh, Hydra and a uh, disposal mummy foil. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Still on the hunt, baby. Will we ever find one? I don't even know, man. This is killing me, Smalls. I got a lot of shipping I'm gonna be working on tonight, right before the live stream, and then I'll finish uh, a bunch of it off tomorrow with eyes open. With arms wide open, under the sunlight, I'll show you love. I'll show you everything with arms wide open. That's all she wrote. The angel, the real form, the spider, hostile desert is our rare. Just a bunch of absolute crap up in here. I do want to count how many of the full art lands we got, non foil. Um, the last box, again, I think was nine. I think we had nine in the last one. I think we did pretty good in that one. Earthshaker Kenra, legit. Got the forest. It's not looking pretty, ladies and germs. It's not looking pretty. But if I do end up pulling uh, a masterpiece, I'm not going to announce it in the video. Like It's not going to be uh, advertised anywhere. So that's another reason you want to stick around and make sure you get a good look-see to see if Joey Moss actually did pull a masterpiece. Holy crap, what was that? All right. That was not good. My, my, my roof is falling apart on me right now. It's weird, man. Uh, we got the beetle. The abra Another Abrade. Abrade's a really good card. Solemnity. Not too bad. It's another good card from the set. When I say good card, I usually mean value. Man, Braids were four of in almost every deck or sideboarded in, especially if you had any red whatsoever. Just a great card. The Survivor's Intelligence. Something I am lacking. There you go. That is true. Lacking the intelligence. Dauntless Avon. Avon. Dauntless Avon. We got a Tactics, Strength, Dunes, and Rona's Last Turd. No, no, stop it. Stop it, man. Nothing good there. Keep on going, baby. We got Kenra, Eternal. That one's really sweet in foil, I must say. I have seen it, and it's gorgeous. Hazard's Undying Fury. They could have done more with that artwork. Anybody? Anybody else think they could have done a little more with that artwork? Uh, is it just me? I don't know. I think they really good. A Dream Stealer token, not bad. Spellweaver Eternal, the Eternal baby. And yeah, we just got word. Uh, huge news announced by Wizards of the Coast today. Scorpion God's not bad. Um, huge, huge news announced. Uh, they have banned a card, and it's only banned on MTG Arena, which doesn't make sense, though. Make sure you go back a video and check it out. The Scorpion God, a legendary creature god. Whenever a creature with a minus one, minus one counter on it dies, it draws a card. And then for three, put a minus one, minus one counter on another target creature. When Scorpion God dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. There were better ones than that. Oh, Obelisk Spider. I don't have F foil yet. That's pretty nice. That one's pretty nice. That's a good one. Ooh, that's going to be a good one. I like it. I like it. We got the Proven Combatant. What else? Chandra's Defeat, some Tactics, and the Sarcophagus. How could we really butcher that? Sarco, 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 Sarcophagus? Sarcophagus. There you go. The good old Sarcophagus. I wonder if anyone's pronounced it that way. Um, go back in my videos. I'm sure you'll find me doing that. All right, let's get a foil. Come on. We are we are bound for a foil here. Strangler. Nimble Obstruction is pretty cool. Lethal Sting. The Lethal Sting. Man, this isn't it. This is not a... Right now, my wallet's feeling a sting. 
let me tell you, these boxes are not cheap, and they're only gonna get more expensive the further we go. I think Kaladesh is at like 140 bucks a box. Ugh. Uncage the Managiri. Search your library for up to X creature cards with different names that each have converted mana cost X. Reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. They could have changed some text on that card and just made it more playable. But they chose not to, and it's just a dud that doesn't see much play. Does that see play in Commander? Probably not. I would highly doubt it. Because it has to be, like, specific mana cast, that's that's silly. Last Mercy. This box, a lot of mercy, has been just awful. It has really just been a crap show here. I'm bad boy gaming these past few openings. Hopefully, one of these boxes, we will get a masterpiece. We got the Hunter. Hour of Revelation. No one gives a flying... Thank you. Nobody does. Solitary Camel. Camels. Anybody? Banding? You want to you wanna see some camels? Watch out, man. You'll learn a tragic lesson playing those things. Actually, there was one camel pretty good. River Hope, Hope. Oh, my God. I remember this thing first came out, and I love the artwork, especially on the foil. We got the hold. Dunes of the Undead. Ooh, we got a foil back here. Scavenger Grounds. Foil Solemnity. So pulling two rare foils, um, I think we're guaranteed not to pull a masterpiece. I think it's safe to say. The only time they started putting two rare foils and like a mythic foil in the same box was Ultimate Masters, to my knowledge. If you've ever opened a box with two rare foils and a foil mythic, Nicole Bolas, that's worth a little skid tank. Uh, very powerful card as well. But if you ever pulled uh, two rare foils and a foil mythic in a booster box outside of Ultimate Masters, I'd love to hear about that. Let's see what Mr. God Pharaoh does. Besides being a ridiculous cost to cast, his plus two, target opponent exiles cards from the top of his or her library until he or she exiles a non-land card. Until end of turn, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost. That's pretty bodacious. For plus one, each opponent exiles two cards from his or her hand. Minus, well, that's a plus one? Holy crap. For minus four, Nicole Bolas, God Pharaoh, deals seven damage to target opponent or creature an opponent controls. And then minus 12, exile each non-land permanent your opponent controls. We'll see ya. It's like you just lost the game. I love Nicole Bullis' fatalities. They're always, like, huge, impressive, overpowering. I mean, any Planeswalker usually is, but with Bullis, it's just devastating, man. It really is. We have a uh, Magmaroth, the Dunes Punisher. Reason and Believe. Right now, this box is not giving me a reason to believe anything. Solitary Camel again. It's like it's... And it, uh, tragic. I think it was the same opening before, or the same uh, order before. That's kind of weird. We have the Horde, a Crushed, Consign, Frank Sanity, another good card back in its day. Still a good card, so he's playing modern, for sure. I like that you can enchant a player. Like, hey, player, you enchanted player. You dig. Crypt is an uncommon. And what are the uncommons worth something here? I know a Braid is. Uh, Mirage Mirror, pretty sweet. For Deuce, Mirage Mirror becomes a copy of target, artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. That thing. Imagine that in the current standard. Mind blown, baby. Mind blown. That would be very impactful. That would be crazy. I would abuse that. I'm trying to put together a new deck in the standard that no one has ever built yet. I swear no one's built it. But we're going to try to make it work. It'll be a surprise. Hour of Eternity. An Island. And Striker. Last pack to crack. I think we pulled four Mythics, which overall was not too bad. But as far as pulling our Invocation, and no such luck. The Hold... Owner's Last Reckoning. It's a beautiful thing right there. Someone did an altered art of this card, and it was stupid awesome to look at. I guess that sums it up. Life does go on. That's the lesson we learned today, kids. Life goes on. Skadoosh! We'll see you later!